I'm good to go, everybody. World finalist. Yeah. You, bet, you wrestle for bronze. Yeah, it's I'm, be I'm tired field. of that. I want to be in the finals. I want to win tomorrow. Um, I'm hungry. I've been focused. I put it on. So I've been in that moment. In the same uh, draw that I put in my head. Give me the toughest people. I'm going to beat everyone one by one. Tomorrow, Saguchi. Uh, I, I got to have an even bigger heart. And. Uh, and fight even harder. We've been talking about it. You, today you took out a two-time world champion, Olympic champion, and a defending world champion, all who have beat you previously. What improvements have you made that led you to this point? Um, you know, we put a lot of work in my positioning. Um, things that kind of suited my needs a little bit better than just, uh, you know, a general, I think, I think kind of finding what, how to stay in my rhythm and try to at least Positions where I can get into my offense better because I'm so I think I have the best offense in the world So if I can get to it and obviously Abakarov, he's one of the best defensive wrestlers that I've ever wrestled uh, If not the best so I couldn't get I couldn't get a finish But you know one other improvement that we've been spending time in since last year has been my leg defense and that came in handy for the four-point throw so um, You know, it's not unscripted that stuff it, it goes into the you know, the dark waters that we've been training in, so, in the dungeon, so. Talk about that, the, the four-point throw. You look up at the screen, I'm sure you're thinking, just I, as everyone else did, why I, did he challenge this? I, I, I actually, well, in my head, just for how wrestling goes, I never give myself the benefit of the doubt. I was like, oh, I'm going to get two and one. I got to close out with, you know, not giving up a point. And then when I saw, I, like, I just threw for four. That's four points, so. I was pretty excited and deep down I knew I was going to win after that. I just was use my brain for this next minute, not run around the mat, try to hold center if I can. So, uh, yeah. Step on the weight cut, down 57. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Talk about the decision to stay down a, and how it's been. Um, I think like that's been something that I've struggled with is finding consistency, what, what I make weight and finding out like how I can... I've had a lot of good wins in tournaments that aren't the world championships and then come time to the world championships I've always lost a close match or you know in Kazakhstan I felt like I had a really good European game taking silver and it was just I felt that I had kind of kept hitting my weight uh, you know making 57 trying to keep my body low uh, and obviously I'm, there's no secret I'm, I'm really big for the weight class but it's not fun for me I would way rather be at 61 kilos but my Olympic dream my Olympic uh, passion goes on to to win a, a gold medal, so I, I got to do what I got to do. So we just figured out how we can do it the smartest way possible. I um, actually was a little bit worried this morning coming in, how I felt with my legs this morning. Just wanted that first match to go, but throughout uh, my preparation, my timing was really good. So once I got into that first match, and really saw my feet moving and me kind of just chain wrestling really well. I knew that it was going to be a good day for me. So that's all I needed was just that confirmation. Okay. I'm going to be on fire today. Let's go. Your college coach called you one of the most optimistic wrestlers ever. Why is that a really key part of your approach? Um, well, I think like me being positive and being somebody who's, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a strong Christian and just trying to be a, a good person, follow God and what he would want to treat other people and also to how much for myself because not everybody's going to have the best situations and be put in situations where, like me, I feel like I've always kind of been down where I've had uh, some bad opportunities in my past where I'm putting all this effort in and I'm not, nothing's coming to fruition. But you just have to keep stepping forward and, and keep working at what you're doing and see how you can improve yourself on a daily basis. So, you know, if, if wrestling wasn't here today, I, I still have a great life outside of wrestling, a family who loves me a lot. So at the end of the day, this isn't everything, but it's, right now it's everything I'm striving to be. Yeah, we know uh, your family is your support. Yeah. Oh, well, I would probably give it to my definitely give it to my dad, who's my main coach over here. Uh, and he, we've been working together. He's been somebody that has always put me in situations to where I mean, I've. He's never ever, you know, in, in the U.S. We have a lot of psycho wrestling dads and people who kind of cross the go over uh, overboard. But my dad's never been somebody who's pushed me hard and pushed me into something that I didn't ask for, didn't want. If he was laying off me, I would complain. Why are you doing that? <laughs> And sometimes I wish, I'm wondering, why did I just say that? Like, it's, this is a tough sport. But uh, 
you know, we've, we've been planning for these, those two wrestlers for a long time, and me to actually do it and, and just kind of, I felt free, I felt uh, confident, I wasn't too stressed, I know things were going to get hard in the matches, and I think my, me, my dad prepared me perfectly for that situation. So uh, I'm excited for this one tomorrow too as well because uh, I think, uh, you know, Higuchi somebody that you don't get to see, you know, Japan, they, they wrestle a little bit different style and also um, they're not competing in the same circuit uh, besides the World Championships or Olympics. So um, I'm really looking forward to wrestling Ray tomorrow. We're so proud and thank you for this interview and someone who waits for you. Of course. One, one more is here. <laughs> of course. Thank <laughs> you.